נחזור. Welcome to the Hot Kitchen of Nazol podcast. We are the three amigos. Your story chefs on duty, cooking you some of the hottest stories from out there. Gisat Sukun. And now, straight out of Vancouver, Canada, the big man, Zol Kebir on the wheels of steel. Please, welcome DJ Bakumba. Yeah, hi guys. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a good week. I'm looking forward to the coming week. You are welcome for our new, our new podcast. Let's sit down, chill, and let's talk story. Yeah. You're welcome. Welcome. Yeah, for sure. Uh, another Zolke beer on the wheels of steel, the Mokoto. Please, welcome, DJ Michael A. Yes, uh, greetings, greetings to everybody. This is DJ Michael A, the Mokoto from Edmonton, coming direct to you guys with all the stories around the world. So we are going to talk some stories and we want to have fun. Don't take these stories so serious. If we offend you, just subscribe and keep listening to us. We are just here to have fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I am the chef on the grill, the DCE Sultan of Small London, Zol Kebir Musuran Sele. So welcome. Coming up today on your Zol podcast, the highlights. From South Sudan, Jamus FC, Juba, wins the South Sudan Super Cup. A bus has been attacked on the Nimule Highway and set ablaze. Armed robbers attack a minister's house in Juba. A school girl was shot in Juba also. John Frog was the topic in the school's debate in Juba. Musician sells charcoal to earn a living, that's in South Sudan. From the African continent, a Malawian pastor has been arrested for kissing a congregant. A thief was a man pretending to be a woman. Botswana man drowns in a river during a baptism. In Nigeria, a security guard has drowned in a diesel tank. And former Kenyan presidential candidate now languishing in a U.S. jail. All these stories coming up on Yazol podcast. the such sukun and the hottest stories from out there okay let's go to our first story from south sudan jamus fc juba wins the south sudan super cup 2024 2025 and they beat almerik bentiu 2-1 at the juba national stadium the buffaloes of course came in with a uh, 4 million in their box and gold from winning 3-1 in the local super league tournament in juba after beating melekia fc And now Jamus, of course, secured the 2-1 win over Almeric from an 11th and 16th minute goal from Costa. It seems the glory for uh, Jamus was short-lived because Simba came in and also beat them 2-0 in the Juba local football league, which is called the Konyo Konyo Derby. Uh, Bakumba, it seems... Uh, Kuro te juba de lip mafia eta kan go for lena shia za deta wali kof bara eta bu cortita it's very competitive these guys won and then they thought they were too secure now they're out again yeah yeah so that, that that's the beauty of the game that's the beauty of the game it's beautiful to see that our local our local league is, is growing is growing and is going competitive that's what we want that's what mm-hmm. we want in the beautiful game right in when, when you have that kind of competition then everybody have to have to up their game they have to they have, you know they have to practice more they have to work harder and everything so it's a beautiful thing it's so good to see that there's a huge competition and mm-hmm. I, i just hope that you know the fan base continue to grow we, we yeah. need, because we, without the fans we can't really the league cannot grow that much so we need people to to, to really support those local teams and the, the fan base instead of you take go saba saba ma 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 bai ta vita gata gora ta ita de rai no manchester ma arsenal no waste yeah. your time because you you will never be you will never meet any arsenal or manchester player like in yeah. the jamus man as elmeri don't say yeah. you're local guys you will meet them and you can actually talk to them so don't don't live in imagination support the local league and let's grow the game man that you know you know we should we take over we we, take, we can take over so we can need to take over football basketball mm-hmm. we we're, we're the kings of basketball And yeah. soon, I think we're going to be the kings of runners. And as the Kenyans did that, we're going to knock them out. Get yeah. here to Monday. Yeah, yeah. I, I, think, I, I think that's how <laughs> we can do anything. <laughs> yeah. That's all. Almeric were very disappointed in their coach because um, um knocked Jack Debarra and Matim Tokulu. My colleague must ask my guess. Well, I guess I don't have any details at all. Like, you know, what, yeah. I'm, what I'm trying to say here is I think soccer is growing really very fast in Juba. I think we're going to catch up with the basketball. Uh, mm-hmm. basketball team and i yeah. think we are going to be competent in in the whole in the whole in the whole uh, continent because yeah. 
because I remember growing up like I was the age of 12 to 15, you know, mm -hmm. they, they used to be Almeric and then there used to be Helal, they used to be uh, Togomasin, they used to be Wahida and they, they used Neil to be Neil. Amal Al yeah, Neil and Amal Al Kura. Like, you know, we are always there like Kandori Bada. Mm. We spent the whole days watching those games and it was very, very, very competitive. And I think this is what is... Uh, is coming right now in Juba and the whole South Sudan. I mm. think we'll we'll be competing with the Nigerians, the Cameroonians, the the say the Ivorians and those tough giants of Africa, you know? Yeah. Are uh, the junior bright stars, the under twenty team, are now in training for the Sekafa tournament, which kicks off in uh, in Tanzania on October sixth. Um of course South Sudan were runners up last time. They lost to Uganda. But uh, this time, we are, we are hoping they will do much better in Tanzania. Uh, the tournament runs from the 6th to the 20th of October. Uh, what, what do you think, Bakumba, Jamadel are getting right for the younger guys compared to the, the, the senior team? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, I think for, for, for me, it's a plus. It's a good thing. Yeah. Because, we, we, yeah, we, because in, uh, in, uh, in 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 every each time them to to, to 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 develop the game you need you need those youngsters to come up right you need yeah. those you, you need those young academies you need the prem from primary school to high school to the core the universities we need we need those youngsters to come up so if if it is as long as we can get it right with the youngster oh hundred yeah. percent will with the see because those guys they can transition from the junior team all the way to senior team as long as yeah. they keep up their game. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Anna Marov can use him to move bends, and if you remember Ndiefi from from Cameroon back in the day, yeah, I right, right. But, but Jake Deben a juice. I don't think he's under under twenty. You know, you know, in the whole continent, sometimes those those uh, junior players will be actually players that are supposed to be in the senior team. But yeah. uh, what what I really recommend is the fact that um, Juba is coming. Very like the whole country is actually coming very 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 strong with the with the soccer. The only thing that they need to really establish is like you know they have to have real trainers and they have to eat fit to 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 like to to fit the the game because I remember in the in the early days of our growth there was a a South, a Sudanese player who went to to Germany I think uh, to play in Germany but okay. the the guy was not physical he he is very technical like skills was very very good but yeah. physically he was not fit okay you know you see the players in Europe in uh in the Americas they are like you know if you see people like those of Ronaldo you yeah. know those people are strong yeah so that's 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 what they really have to develop. They have to have a lot of academies. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be like during our days whereby you just it's like a school inter competition and then from there you just graduate to, to a senior team, it's a mafia academy, mafia trainers and Nisia be trained to gym and forget about the soccer training, like you know, physical kind of trainers. Right. If they develop yeah. all that, they will yeah. be yeah. able to compete in the in the in the continent. Well, uh, let's go to uh, our second story, and this is sad news uh, this week, because a passenger bus that left Juba uh, was, you know, attacked on the highway in Nimule, somewhere close to uh, Kobe. So the bus was carrying uh, 40 passengers and belonging to the Bebeto bus company. Um, the gunman opened fire, aiming for the driver. The conductor tried to escape to the back. He was shot and he died. In the bus, um, the bus stopped and was set ablaze on the road. Of course, passengers were abducted and their belongings looted. Six were later released and they were able to walk back uh, through the bush for about seven hours to Aru Junction and then they were rescued that way. Uh, I, I, I don't understand what's going on with these people. Um, why target civilians? Why target uh, companies? The economy is already doing very bad. You're burning buses on the way, you know. 
but yeah, I woke I woke up to that sad story that uh, that, that morning, man. I was I was, I was really upset. I, but it's very very uncalled for to attack to attack innocent civilians who are mm -hmm. just going around with their uh, their, their daily life activities. You know, just yeah. you know to just to attack a bus. It's not a military target. There's no yeah. nobody belongs there to the government. They're just ordinary citizens. Actually, a lot of them are from our neighboring countries too. There are a lot yeah. of people who are from from our neighbors. And it's just it's, it's just very sad. It's it's it, it bring a very 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 bad image to the country. The mm -hmm. economy, as you said, the economy is already bad. Everybody struggling. Then yeah. add to that, you add insecurity. Now yeah. a lot of people, even the economic activity. I believe after that attack, people are now very scared of traveling along that route. So what do you do? You are going to restrict the movement of people that destroy business. It destroys mm -hmm. a lot of jobs. So I don't know who those guys are. I don't I, whether whether they are rebels, whether they are bandits, whether whatever they are, whether they are terrorist elements in in the country. But I think yeah. it's uncalled for, and we call we just call upon the government to to you to, to to offer more security to the citizens because I think people are tired of this this kind of war. People people just want to move on. People mm -hmm. want to move on, and condolences to all the families that lost their loved ones. And uh, we we hope that one day uh, some of those uh, the gangs and uh, the bandits can be brought to justice. Mm -hmm. Our condolence just goes to to those that lost their dear ones. Yeah. 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 I think the police commissioner and uh, the security people who are there today. Um, we, we really need to keep the country peaceful. We are really sick and tired of these back and forth wars and whatnot. Yeah. Most of us just want a peaceful country and just to farm and just live life, you know. Um, That's all. And talking about um, living life, Bakumba, I think you should st start becoming Prophet Bakumba from today. Because last time you remember our Mangnong story from Bor, yeah. the Panga story. You did say right. that, you know, Yamadel Betalam in Jekdak, they might end up with a governor. Well, apparently Toronto went for somebody who is actually higher than a governor, a minister in Juba. Armed robbers attacked the house of the Minister for Animal Resources and Fisheries. They stole three million South Sudanese pounds, 50 euros, 450 US dollars, three guns and several mobile phones. Minister Onyoti Adigo says three armed robbers stormed his house at 8 p.m. and forced his family members, including his wife and children, into a room. And then, of course, uh, you know, so Binyato Jere folk, the Baba folk in Ak upstairs, she told him what's going on. So he was able to to call um, for police to come and help him out. And Jamadel Kaman Serego diplomatic passports to use, man. Uh, the Honorable <laughs> Minister lost his uh, diplomatic passports. Quite sad for security-wise for a minister, a national government minister to be attacked. What is going on in Juba? And on the same same day, there was a young man too who was uh, beaten by Toronto, Falagora Stode Laadi, you know. Even the, the, the CT scan from the hospital shows like a traumatic blow to the head of, of, of the poor guy, and he died. For me, my question is, what happened to the minister's security, Bakumba? Yeah, even me, that's my question. Yeah. And someone that, I, I know, I know, Nas Kubardel, the imminent bodyguard, at least, can, 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 might mean at least why? Yeah. At least, let's say, if you are a national minister, so I don't know what happened. You that this if you draw nine, I mean, or a mushy date, but good the story doesn't doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Nasco Barreco in the in the bodyguard, wherever they go. Can can local rule in the galley and the they are able to disarm the guards and then we understand, oh, these are these are these are probably very powerful powerful gang that are able to enter the military. So this thing does not it it doesn't make any sense. That, that 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 a national minister because even even a state minister I think the even the state minister has at least one or two bodyguards if I'm yeah. not wrong. Yeah, I know the economy is bad in Juba. Those people they shouldn't the robbers shouldn't be beating the wife, the like taking a passport. Why why you take the passport for? Like what are you gonna do with it? You can't mm -hmm. go with that pass passport anyway, and you can't even sell it. Like that's all. Yeah, the national government the thieves will come for you. Yeah, ma, yeah, yeah, the thieves will come because the local, the, the small, the the the, the, the old Sukara, the little guy has no more money. So, mm -hmm. so, 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 Haramiade, they will come for you. So yeah. it's it's high time that everybody need to wake up. That is security, um, security is for everybody, yeah. from the president, from the top to bottom. You know, 
if, if they rob the minister one day you'll be surprised maybe they, yeah, <laughs> you never yeah. know what will happen to j1 one day when people yeah. are hungry yeah, <laughs> yeah so so it's a, it's a, it's a, people, people need to look at the bigger picture that yeah. you know we need the little that we have the little sources that we have instead of keep stealing when the people are poor and the insecurity you need to learn that you know when you have equitable sharing of resources and opportunities will eliminate some of these problems so now malays the malays they are zul kabir many wazir yeah 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 we, we hope that you know things are sorted out and yeah. uh, another difficult story to a school girl uh, from uh, chaplain christian primary school in juba was shot and she is admitted at the emergency unit at peace chinese hospital in juba because both her legs were fractured to, uh, from the gunshot um she was shot on monday and um some say the perpetrator was a soldier uh, Uh, who was called into the school premises by the headmaster to threaten the students who were uh, on strike for not being taught of course a report denied by the school and the police are yet to comment on you know the incident or release a statement Gazol Michael you remember debating in in primary school yeah our mother, mother, than, father is better than mother active students yeah, mother is to... better than father yeah, yeah they come <laughs> with all those stories water is better than fire mother is better than father <laughs> Town life is better than village life. Whatever those stories. <laughs> okay, I remember that. Yeah. Well, uh, John Frog, who is a musician, is in trouble because uh, during the inter-schools primary schools debate in Juba, someone said, uh, "John Frog, who is South Sudan's number one artist, rose from grass to grace through wide distribution of his hit songs like Wondo Circuit and Action and Energy on social media such as YouTube, Instagram, WhatsApp." Just imagine if social media wasn't there John Frog would have been known only by people from Munuki and that's Sarah Kiden from King's Academy Digital School you know, she was detailing of course the importance of social media um d- during the debate the event was organized by the Teachers Without Borders Association and its partner organizations and uh, meanwhile Leech Primary School debated Hill Cross Primary School and their motion was retail businesses should be owned by South Sudanese A pupil, uh, Joseph Yak from Hillcross Primary School said, "Chapati places which are owned and run by foreigners save many lives in South Sudan." Just imagine <laughs> if retail businesses owned by foreigners are closed. You know bin can't afford shurba or share, they will die from hunger. Of course, Kiryul Kool from Leech Primary School countered Joseph by saying, "Money will circulate within South Sudan if retail businesses are owned by South Sudanese." rather than foreigners simply because foreigners send a lot of the money back to their countries leaving south sudan empty debate so kona bakumba i debate so kona i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i Logan you to mommy it is bet your from the good the good day in munuki yeah block b well block c if munuki na kunara o de block ya tsa da o ka de munuki like like kala the quiz the quiz thanks thank you the internet asa asa na kunara your from yeah what is that yeah it's a very funny thing eh so 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 they 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 give the quiz yeah they don't don't think the one that you know make make actually make people to grow yeah, yeah. <laughs> we 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 are basically developing young politicians who can stand their ground in front of people that's right so yeah i think i think that's, that's a fact though like if you if you see those people that are in 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 in, in the on the top of the political arena well uh, they are law- they are lawyers they are they are they are like business people and stuff like that those yeah. this, these guys actually most of them are you can see them right from junior high from high school from to universities and colleges these yeah. people are they have the skill from a younger age and yeah. And, yeah. and and the debating thing like even now you can see around those guys that were were very tough at debating at schools yeah they they are also very tough they are, they are successful in life those that topic was really good and the, those kids Well, like the pupils the students they 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 really hit the government on 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 the on the top the woman demiro john frog kamana yeah na gar majuru bin majuru juru juru ya gar anas magare juru bin gala so 
Sio sio kwa vita graka bo tapati usimusini yeah. gande gande de, de shoko vita wewe de the foreigner yeah. you know yeah, we exactly. have very weird mentality <laughs> yeah i got the the we, we the, for 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 most of our people human gali and work means you need to have this big office and the big matter was the kibiri it like you told kibiri and they are shoko yeah. yani you don't understand that shoko actually those those small small enterprises ala eta alu mwingine ali gali eta na wewe that's yeah. actually where the local money is it have good market you could but you have no cash flow what is the point director yeah. the direct director the director of the finance or something but salary the tag mark is 6 months so i accept so all the part of so so yeah. people need to mindset that they need to change that you know map so called gale wasaka this so called wasaka and this so called in the deep job is job as long as you are doing the legitimate business mm-hmm. you need to go for it yeah so all the mufru there's no country where by where where by chapati is done by foreigners i've not seen one in the world we have travel all over oh, we have traveled so many countries those small small business to sure they belong to the local everywhere it just it just naturally inclined that <clears throat> when i'm sitting there and that there's, there's somebody there who is need to eat i can make chapati and tell you to waiting for a guy to come from kenya to come and cook the chapati then yeah. in, in the muscle we have some mental issue maybe yeah. maybe more, more not than a book and economic counseling maybe <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. One person who has learned the lesson and uh, is doing well for himself is a musician. Fanan Minjuba is him to Victor Garang. Oh, oh, Sibu Shokol music or big bit be far from the custom in 3 months now. And yeah. he says as youth, let us work no matter the type of work just to do it. Do it to support your family and cover your daily expenses. You know singing is a talent, a uh, God-given talent. In living, we should not avoid and blame the government for that. So stuckle, you know, it doesn't matter. There is no embarrassment. Salah can faham waskan. Guru shall be dakal fi jaba taki lima wakun waskan. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. that's 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 actually the the problem. You know, being I think maybe can mostly at a chapati there because growing up, yeah, like. I didn't I didn't know anything about chapati until we traveled to East Africa. Maybe Junubin del Samaru how to do chapati, but they should have learned from the foreigners. <laughs> you know, they yeah, should have learned yeah. from the foreigners and and carry it on with the with the, with the business. And uh, the it, problem it, 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 it mata mata embara small London. Ata der kelim gal nas na ma baro chapati za mama. Wallahi za da na baro chapati je me vita baro but I I didn't know. I didn't know like nas nas kanga molo legema tamia to do those are the things that yeah. we we grew up with. But chapati they can rarely I didn't I didn't know much about. But okay. at least still sala kan chapati de kan na je de umata tan ga molo tamia ga molo legema ga molo like even you can do kisra and then the bitebi right yeah i, yeah. I think yeah. kisra is our thing yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> now you're getting into dangerous territory if you don't behave jelda so 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 this this week uh, bakumba there's uh, the video out there al ajus de o kan jeribu arfa shawal tegila buloto kida i think bukunta gawa weleta ta ta dokon wala ta ta dora i don't know but obey integil so fiko shawal de la juice de waga fi dahar to jelly wala la gap to kan fat but ara marfo kan bi jelly do mono a juice de bi jelly do wala shabab al gena ta kwa sana bolo to waga men dahar ta juice ada 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 in video da ada in video ya ba ya 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 de so gol de so gol ali ga gere gere suna mar kan mon ga ru juba la ni gol de so gol de so gol de guma Guma I, 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 don't, I don't know can can because arabic arabic change maybe you have to this guy have a new name like so le yaba yaba kan ji jere bu sokol da guma ya tam yaba yaba is hasla yaba there 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 so there some some little money to go and feed his family so the ji jere bu at least he's trying ma he's not sitting around there you know waiting yala fish above the nin sabab the nin muarasin wara na ge gata ya ya ta go and so le this guy is trying you know this guy is trying he's trying he's doing his best so i i applaud this guy man i applaud this guy zolana wala i had to know he done wala i'm happy that you know oh my oh my you said who akil min zol kebir oh my guy the fi fi ta sejer be this tell be be akol sake he's trying or or jerb so kol guma ide ma go amat like he tried like na tala jud dugu so de de mo rasina ga ta kwata kwara de 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 mo Morasine de den nasal de al gata ko de nasal gaidin kudu yum ter sejer gaso bushai galgi senu shokol o shokolade ya jamit ti juba ina 
Chocolate ya chocolate ya boy jeri gude. So del de ya aju sort na chalgata gude. Ita kona terse jer tanga ya ruguma ya jozo ya jeri gude. De ya ita kona duguta mam. Lakin kudos upload ana upload ya bade ya bo continue hustle na. Yumtani rabu na bara gude ita tamam. Ya, so tak kena semua. Mata tak kau kalau. Ya ba, gal show awal agam era gap tu tu. Sort bah kau di atas sakit. All right. Now let's go for a quick round up from Africa. A prominent religious leader in Ghana has made a bold prophecy uh, concerning the upcoming elections in Ghana. Prophet Jesus Ahuofe, who leads the New Life Kingdom Chapel International, has declared that certainly the National Democratic Congress (NDC) will secure 52.7 percent. Numbers del Jamin Shamawati as well. He said, no matter what actions the new patriotic party of President Nanaku for Ado takes, they will lose the elections to the NDC of Dr- John Dramani Mahama. Um, Sabide, sa, 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 I, I think going to telephone Albora Tawale le St. Peter or Leshuna Michael. Sabide said, can I hello to Al 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 Gal? Rabana can zol di communicate the Rabana zol le biuse iPhone or le biuse the Samsung or le so no zar ma bi job. But mm. all along I know Jamadel uh, the prophets nowadays in Africa they are emerging like in every field. But the the thing is none of their prophecy is is actually true. But mm. some of those prophecies are are not really a prophecy. Like you you can sometimes tell through the campaign through the deterioration of the other party you will get you can tell that this party is not going to win but for them they'll take it and and make it to be a pro, a, a prophecy which is which is just a fallacy but um i don't believe in those prophets really like the bible even says that in the last days there there's going to be a lot of false prophets so mm-hmm. okay. well talking about that wahid min uh, prophets tamala widel uh, pastor timothy michael a well known and respected uh, religious leader from Malawi Nagbakumba he was arrested mm-hmm. again he kiss one of his church members you know oh. yeah yeah so police yeah of course tawali mm-hmm. dakalusi um uh, i witnesses describe yeah okay so you know kiss mara de begua wale mara de begua yeah begua because i witnesses describe the surreal moment when the police entered the the church o oh, mara de mm-hmm. I think she accused him, right? That's why the police right. were called in. Okay. Yeah. 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 So it's uh, it's it's very sad to to see Zola Al Musul kid at Akinisa doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Is Zola yeah. is is he married? Oh my God, Mara. Well, uh, is there a law anyways that says uh, kissing by force is a crime and stuff like that? I I don't know if Ma- the woman is an adult. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Michael. Eh? <laughs> oh, you cannot give somebody. <laughs> if, if, if somebody doesn't give you consent, you can't go kissing them by force, man. Right? <laughs> yes, it, because it happened in the church. But otherwise, like, I think kissing mind to consent because I think you just go for it and that's it. You know. Mara de, mor, wale, ya 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 de pasa de kangi kiss el mara de asar mara de ligo miracle de juno boke. No, I I don't think so, man. Oh, bukun kiss mara de beteri gajib ki de mara de ta na kiss on the police. Yeah, the fact that it happened in the church is the problem. But otherwise, na jere kangi hila. I don't think there's a consent for that. And no, no, no. The 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 kissing. I don't know why it happened, but the arrest happened in the church. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. If you kill somebody without consent, obviously that's that's a sexual, <laughs> that's sexual harassment. That's an assault. Yeah, you'll be you'll be arrested. <laughs> but 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 do you ever ask a lozol guy can I kiss you? Yeah, like to be kissed. Only you just go for it. Man, man, lozol, hano, hano. This guy uses authority as as a so-called prophet. Oh, okay. To, 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 yeah, I see, to, to, I see to, the to, point to, now. Yeah, to go kiss in the congregant in the church. He just uses authority, which you know that's that's considered sexual exploitation. Yeah. And uh, I I hope they lock him up proper so that they can kill it. Yeah, yeah they, be, they, 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 it's a false prophet. Yeah, yeah. Be, because the woman would not have accused him. Um, yes, you know the le, le police. Yeah. Yeah. If there was yeah. consent, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he should he yeah. should he should be booked, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Giza Tani Fani, I come on in um, in Malawi. Uh, so there's a man who was pretending to be a woman in the town of Mwanza. Uh, I think oh. it's somewhere close to the Mozambican border on the yeah. western side. Uh, so police in uh, Mwanza town, Malawi, have arrested a 40-year-old named uh, Chimwemwe 
Mpochera on suspicion of extorting money from men by pretending to be a woman. Wala. Yeah, so <laughs> Hope Kasasula, the Kasakula, the police spokesperson in the town confirmed the incident stating that the concerned citizens alerted the authorities about the man's fraudulent activities. Mpochera allegedly tricked truck drivers. You know, Jamadel Albisugu <laughs> long distance law result. Umo ni awaga fekata jegde. So he was apprehended <laughs> by police and uh, at an entertainment joint in, in the market in the town. And then, uh, of course, he is to appear before court to face charges of theft. So jegde bukun kutu badun make up to tamam kida oben bamba tamam volish, you know, like how is he able to 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 fool those guys well baby lel come on i don't understand wakumba and i don't i don't i don't i don't talk do i don't talk if you think you know there is if you ask actors tamam the people who are natural naturally are actors and actresses so okay do lana talk it ana talk it oh 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 did you say tamam roa ke dokan der der no so e kun mara so is there are a lot of people like that you know who can You can, you, you can you can you you sometimes in this even in this in, in this in this part of the world that you it's very hard yeah. to tell who is a woman who is a man yeah so 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 zolde zolde if he, i'm sure he 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 that he he done he did his research maybe to tamam kutu love i get kutu fake and the other one fake and so to the fake to my lips to go to the new yeah yeah and the big 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 the the truck driver so i don't know if you know no after them Zolde they accuse they accusing about of that they, what they kind accu- of matter? no because he pretended and then he extorted money from these people right eh, oh so 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 na zeli ani na na they they are hoping that they are, they are looking for oh mara you know, shawari no so anta shawari del i didn't know no so no so anta shawari so so no so no so anta shawari they think ya <laughs> 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 What do you well, think for, of the story? Yeah. Well, like for me, I, I cannot even point my, my finger at a direct spot. I'll go, uh, this guy is extorting money, is is charge of theft, and uh, maybe he's a con con man, con woman. Mm-hmm. I don't even know. <laughs> and I don't even know, like, when he when he goes and seduces you for the money, Kanto Odilo, how far is he going to take? Because is he going to go with you to a room? Well, you know, For you to find out, oh, oh, Mara Libisu, Sundur fake, well, Jabat fake, and stuff like that. Does he go, how far does he go with that? Well, always be capable of Guruze, can Guruze Odilo Oto Ale be disappeared? Because... Oh, be disappeared, yeah, I, I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah because, be disappeared. <laughs> because can some silly type of Jua be a girl, I can't get a girl, I go. Ma, Ogi, 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 Yeah. Service, service is service service is truck driver service is mark who do that mom service mark yeah. <laughs> yeah i think i think zole zole is a smart Be- before before he reached to the action or be disappear yeah that's, that's what he was doing but that's not even a test because if i go to you and mm-hmm. manipulate you seduce you and then you give me your money that's a consent that you you agree to give me the money maybe i will say <laughs> okay kalas to dilana guruzana bija badem
Mm-hmm. Uh, Oleg to Maradoshulu. Uh, zama numon baga na of course haja de bada gilao talawe talade 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 kulu mara de dakal fo malhamam jek de biga morta sala sala badun fi serir ya yeah. ya mara de kan o, o bes direct stop bob min jek de o bada dugu telefon to enak gal ga, gal ya yan o ori le frento <coughs> kele kolo so zaman friend de kol kalas gala friend de gene remaino kanu asoro bo e AR vista to adu ya ta ta aids Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jack de Ferrari Ferrari rena is gasmatic yeah how was my de colgara mena na ma der gisa ta wala kim bob fat o bob fat galas ya jama de lindo different ways of extortion man <laughs> wala well, marita basket math is he's a comedian so those stories can be made up right they can cook up those kind of stories <laughs> let's go to botswana where a 57 year old man in moshupa village southwest of gabron Uh, tragically drowned in a local uh, river last Sunday afternoon uh, during a church baptism ceremony what was meant to be a memorable uh, spiritual celebration turned into nightmare uh, when 23 members of the new african baptist church led by their pastor gathered at the river and then during the ceremony four members of the congregation slipped into the deeper part of the river the pastor was able to heroically save three and then the last one drowned Uh, tragically disappeared into the water the case was reported to the police and then they pulled uh, the lifeless body of the man out uh, using scuba divers from the special uh, support group um the, the the incident of course happens um in the same river can like uh, about a year no two years ago uh, in the same same river uh, five children also drowned in in, in January 2022 So gisata drowning del uh, I used to remember gala people also get drowned a lot fi ye kare nako fi bahar sometimes crocodile bukoni abi juru ya madel wale you know like what really happens in cases like that bakumba yeah i think uh <laughs> because we keep the cases del and i think obviously na na sikenisa i think they 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 they, they part, part of this they can use any that that they can use in charge ceremony that day Yeah. Should, 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 should be held accountable actually because yeah. it about it about getting some about the children congregants the river that you know you you, not, you don't even have you have never done any study where is yeah. the deep end where is the shallow end not yeah. the not the boogie when you know and you're mm-hmm. taking these innocent people they are, are, are they are very they are very excited you know mm-hmm. when when you are young baptism is a very exciting time yeah so now na, na, so now na, they are looking forward to this to this ceremony which is a it's, it's a good religious ceremony that people people undergo right Yeah. So as I think can I think can this this pastor and the and, and this church should be held accountable for for, yeah. for, 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 for that kind of action because it, it may root you are supposed to know where where do if, if you believe in this water deep water immersion immersion baptism like again uh, there is different different ways of baptizing finas finas based the gudu alamata moyo fi ras but if you if 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 you want to follow that route and then do a proper study tell the arab what what river can you can uh, oh, oh you need to build your own pool in the church or something anything that can save life so so i just i just i just be and uh, like, like you say pick another jungle oh fi sometimes there is octopus and be jurunas the rope with the kora i was say the rope with the kora then it 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 is another another sagala guni kala juru zon But, <laughs> but I don't know how to because because I don't think in the, in the since since we we in the can we swam in the river Nile for so many years and I'm I know but I was in in my own eyes ladder and I know mukin in the Chinese store in Nile I was in river so care that there that small okra pasta to eat but we used to eat we used to eat gale gale fi abu se dip river Nile but you have never seen one <laughs> so, somebody was telling me actually they 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 goromuta al kubar kubar del because you know sometimes they mm. do that gal Um, mm. So, so they, <laughs> they they grab you, to pull you down, let you go. Grab you, pull you down, let you go. Yeah. Uh, Michael, any comments on this? All I, you know, for me, I just I just think uh, the government is supposed to really take care of its 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 uh, citizens because uh, and the church itself is supposed to also have some safety measures. Fe 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 na hiat zere like. You're going to baptize somebody in the river. 
if it is a doctrine to baptize people in the river, yes, but why don't you investigate the place I'll I'll tagram or baptize in Fogode? Send your 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 deacons or your asses to, to the mm -hmm. to that part and they have mm -hmm. to investigate the river. If you have to build actually a wall mm -hmm. that uh it'll be baptized not there like like if it is like uh in some places maybe you build something like a pool, a swimming yeah. pool kidder. So yeah. you baptize people there. And if those kind of persons are really left and punished by the government, then that's 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 a negligence of of the government for to mm -hmm. its its own people. Because uh, yes, talking about Hajata Absebi, I don't know whether the cyclone Hajidal Moyo Gilifuzere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I just live best the rest of all be see later. I be can gallop I didn't even see the absebi fee in a lack in a little bit. I just can't like oh, be just a habit like great habit yeah. today later and habit today like it. I'll get English. I'll kind of like say no tata gallery. Yeah, yeah, girl, girl, habit of sebi bay is like. Get get that I'll get a ticket get get English yeah and as give her no better girl. Girl, we don't put it like that. It's a map by any other all be jury. But I'm thinking it is yeah. that water that I'll give you for the rare. The yeah. spinning water, yeah. Yeah, the spinning the water can yeah to all of be yeah. be spinning to all be silly because that water is very strong that you cannot you cannot even resist to all be 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 that a little of a of ride or something. Yes, and and some some of those rivers also um they, it's not just water the 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 fi 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 Kenya na fi Kakuma for example um the the river may be you can see water but they had enough the Romla yes even mm -hmm. even saying at at Kapoita there's the same thing like it can carry trees and carry trucks so when you see the water it's not just the water flowing there's lots of sand and all kinds of things in the river uh, right. but is all can matter for dugu for matter of home malta bodul bodo fi deep place exactly Ask, like find out you know uh, if he's able to see if not uh, just give him space yeah that's all talking about drowning this story is from nigeria uh, so one of the security guards uh, fi 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 mahalde or decide seragu i did diesel min tank agila agila gumas agila se finja to se bena ko dakalo jo tank kan bra gata diesel or drown fi jo diesel ina yok yeah and then his body his lifeless body was found early uh, uh on the monday early morning on september 23rd uh, 2024 which is just a few days back um the witnesses said the security guard may have attempted to steal the diesel but he slipped and uh, I, yeah, I i think oh, i'm less skidder, right like the diesel yeah. is a bit yeah. slippery so yeah. if if you climb into the tank you're not coming out for sure yeah. and and then they they came and they they were looking for him he didn't show up in the house at home so they went and looked um, the bab token fadi of course they looked down then mons ain se finja gomasi asibini checking the tank the poor guy is in there he's dead quite sad huh? So what yeah. what 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 we bring in Malian to do but that night yeah yeah, yeah that's yeah. A, that's a very very painful drowning man. yeah yeah <laughs> even the fumes the fumes alone can yeah, kill yeah. him right yeah yeah, yeah 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 that's what i think i think yeah. the fumes killed him because diesel is more denser than the water right so mm, that's right yeah. yeah and it's very slippery with the with the with the tank there just in the tank there is very slippery also you put your leg a uh, wrong spot yeah. you will find yourself and Inside. and 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 also the 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 the, the the fumes plus the the height of the thing is is too is too high you cannot swim in there because mm -hmm. the the diesel is very dense very thick yeah yeah it's very thick so you would like maloma still container base jada juana or something like a a horse and then juru fi fi jirkis or something your marben right. yeah it's your marben right. can also your marben also there's no way out <laughs> it's, so a, it's, it's a a beroa. yeah 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 <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, remember, it's quite remember, sad. remember. Fiye na kuri adel kanja be be la nas musaid musaidin ta Araba din nas algi nas amarkazze. The those people can get addition of English nas amarkazze. Do man bija na jamare be bija da five to mande. It's like a horse into the mal algi fatafo go benzine. De. So they yeah. just besides the real best game malaja refi jarakis. Those people they go. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 Mo, mo, Moshkila, I think with the with the Serega mentality in the guy's uh, mind, he he wasn't thinking that far. 
he, he was focused on stealing and then of course lost his life so yeah yeah unfortunately yeah, and you know those tankers they are oval so once you yeah. step him out there yeah. while yeah. he's yeah. slippery it. it will take him yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. um so let um, so let's go to zimbabwe uh in zimbabwe a gigolo is in uh jail for assaulting his sugar mommy uh the incident happened in vuma zimbabwe on uh, on september 3 which is a couple of days back mr um pindu that's the man discovered that his sugar mommy one katoma w- was in bed when he came uh, in bed with his friend vitalis masama um so the 24 year old man mpindu um he will be sentenced to 12 months in jail because he assaulted the lady after finding her in bed of course with the, with his friend um so on the day he found her in bed he walked away and then the following day he found the same same woman with the same same guy at the shopping center mama malaki azol it i tend with ya to gisa ma jegde kede kala na raf beta na na ro onu su kalam de o osul fi beti na ko bada na ngaro na ngaro mama de dugu 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 tamam gisa osul le bolis the guy is in now one year in jail Giza <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, yeah. So la, like and and the lady is like 40 years old, he's like in his 20s. Yes. Why why? Why? Oh oh bukun hibu mara de ziada wa le gisa de shuni nasa. Na ma you know you remember the 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 adage I think it's a uh, It's the adage that that the, the beauty is always in the eyes of the beholder and they say love is mm. blind right so mm. it doesn't really matter you can be 20 and you can be blinded by a, a 40 year old 50 year old or a 6 year old lady and you find that you you are already like stuck with her and you don't want to see anybody with her with her regardless of your your age you don't think that i'm i'm young i can find more younger women of my age and stuff like that so but the fact that the, he went and uh, and and fought the woman mm. well uh, beat the woman up there that that that's that's, that's I'm, i'm missing that woman is almost like his mom because a 40 yeah. year old woman and a 20 yeah. year old uh, man yeah. i think uh, that can be like i think even Most of our women they don't get married in the in the 20s like maybe in the 16 17 15 they will have a son that 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 is like her son you're fighting yeah. like your mom that's that's yeah. that's too much <laughs> yeah it's funny you said love is in the eye of the beholder no dugu usa tamara they now the woman is blind <laughs> love is now blind like you mungin mungin dem ha long ago for go mambo roof mara 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 de food maybe she's a little bit stable yeah maybe yeah. he's maybe obiga obiga the source of income is disappearing they are yeah 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 to yes they will only defend bank bit or so they they the atm bro mambo yeah 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 so can i run into the gate ago mal mara long ago for go made mushila Uh, o like, je, 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 uh, je, uh, because they sabito zato yeah, yeah uh, it's his friend uh, who goes for the, the, the same woman so the, the uh, friend yeah, probably yeah. knows galfe akilini yeah 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 i actually didn't see it in the context of taji golode and stuff like that but yeah. i <laughs> but i think that's true because why are the f- friends fighting over a 40 year old woman like it doesn't really make sense because they have the chance of of uh, meeting those younger uh, ladies that are of <clears throat> not of that age so maybe yeah. yes, that's that's where they were feeding and they are malo mongira da fogo leben fogo slay queens slay queens are, are there uh, Bob, you, you yes. know they, they are not like the sugar mummies who have money so, yes exactly jig that of the money not with the money go Yeah, yeah. A former Kenyan presidential candidate in US jail, Abduba Mohamed Dida, a former presidential candidate in Kenya in the 2013 and 2017 elections, is currently serving a prison term in the United States of America at a correctional facility in Illinois. He is serving multiple sentences for stalking and violating a restraining order. 
he was identified by inmate number Y5128.5, sentenced to two separate charges. The first classified as stalking and transmitting threats, earning him two years in prison. And the second one, aggravated stalking and violating a restraining order, five years sentence. Both charges were, of course, from incidents that took place in McLean County, Illinois. Uh, prison records show that the former presidential uh, hopeful was admitted uh, to the Illinois Department of Corrections on November 18th, 2022. So Jake Dewodu, because he's, he's in jail, uh, he's eligible for parole in 2025 with the full discharge slated for April 2029. Of course, Abduba did arose to prominence during those two years of election 2013-2017 in Kenya. Uh, for his unconventional campaign uh, style and his focus on educational reform. He previously taught English, literature, and religion at Lenana High School and then at Dadab Refugee Secondary School. Michael, when you were in Dadab, did you see this guy? Probably I didn't see, but I didn't hear about him. But yes, mm. I was in Dadab. What, what, what year was that? Uh, I'm not too sure. But he was a presidential candidate in 2013, and 2017. So that's probably before, maybe yeah. in the early 2000s. Yeah. Before, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember during those, uh, the, 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 those I, I actually followed those 2013 election, and uh, 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 Dida was very, 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 uh, very, very popular actually among, especially yeah. among the the youth. He was, yeah. he was very good because I, I remember the elections. Or I think that was the time Uhuru Ruto and <coughs> probably Raila on the other side, and uh, yeah. And uh, and uh, D Dida was somewhere in the middle, there. and he actually got a substantial amount of vote, and then the guy just vanished. Yeah. I, 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 even me, I was uh, sometimes I used to wonder where they, nobody knew where the guy the guy left. Yeah. No, 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 knowing that he was busy. Uh, what he's, I think he's a forty year old man still stalking women. So yeah. I don't know what's wrong with it. You know, that is one thing you can't do. You can, especially in the U.S., people mm -hmm. need to understand. Uh, the, the the U.S. is a, you know the U.S. has the largest amount of inmate population. Per capita on earth, mm. so 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 in the US actually is like a country that like to jail people. So make a mistake, the the system is already designed to jail you. So yeah. and then you, you you go there and it's like no cano bituru you are kawaja. Like we need to find out mara de kawaja or the Somali woman come on and yeah. then, and it, it basically was he looked like um, he was talking a woman or something. Yeah. Hello, yeah. mara mara talk and when maburu so. So yeah. we, we maybe maybe we can pick up, but we can pick up, but then somebody will interview and then we'll find out. But but yeah. it's uh, but but it's a very sad scenario. Well, girl, it 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 has all got your food. You're busy stalking somebody, man. Yeah. If you in the in the US or any country where they like to jail people, you will be jailed for sure. That's how I do it now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's yeah. going he's going as far as 2029. 20, That's yeah, like that, a. But there's parole next year, right? Yeah, he's yeah, eligible. Parole. He's eligible for parole yeah, in um in 2025. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In in yeah. 2025, which is next year, mm -hmm. and then yeah. uh discharge, basically the end of his uh prison sentence will be in 2029. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's 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 a sad. He's going to I don't know whether he's going to come back and still qualify for another presidential uh, campaign in Kenya. Uh, no, with a criminal record, I don't think yeah. so. He's, 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 done he's done anymore. He's done, yeah. Done. Yeah, yeah. But, but because too, too that, sad for him. Yeah, that roots him out. Zol, yeah. Zol, 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 Kalamtan is one day they say that it brings down kingdoms, right? So, yes. Yeah. 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 Kingdoms yeah. and as Solomon and as Munukulu was brought down as Samson because of Nasawin, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, okay. And, and talking about the US government, uh, they have decided to waive uh, visa requirements for citizens of Qatar. Um, of course, Qatar's population is 2.6 million and only 315,000 uh, are citizens, the rest, of course, migrants. That uh, means uh, Qatar is pretty rich. Um, so the U.S. visa waiver program is mainly reserved for wealthy Western European and Asian states, it seems, right? So Qatar has a GDP of almost $90,000, uh, which is over $10,000 above the U.S. GDP. Uh, my colleague guess where South Sudan is in terms of GDP currently. 
425 US dollars only. Uh, 10 years ago, it was 1,700 compared to Qatar, 90,000. And now also of a marhala dak miten ma benzin tan na And when we are busy shooting each other on the highways, do you think we'll ever get into this program anytime soon, Baikumba? Well, I, yeah, well, I, well, I, no, it's actually possible. I would, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too pessimistic. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's actually it's possible to get there. To, to get there as, as long as you have proper leadership yeah. like uh 30 years ago there was not there was nothing called dubai yeah. Dubai just came the, the other day i remember mm-hmm. when they're growing in africa it, yeah. it, i think the, the, the best place to hear was libya by then that was tripoli was like the dubai of africa mm-hmm. and there, 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 there was nothing called dubai even though those of qatar like most of these girls said actually develop i would say in the last in the last 20 30 years actually most yeah. of them Yeah, yeah be, be, because be, 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 because be, because of the, uh, the the oil boom and they're able to invest proper, pro, uh, properly on their citizens. So so Jim Sudan, oh Jim Sudan, if if you want to take off, definitely hundred percent. We mm-hmm. we can take off within ten to twenty years. Quest home population is we're we a very small number. Mm-hmm. If if co- co- yeah, co- co- compared to compared to the resources that we have, compared to the land, we are really South South Sudan is sparsely populated. Basically, we really mm-hmm. have. We, we, we have a very small small population so so if you are talking about qatar about 90,000 gdp per capita man that's a lot mm-hmm. of money that's yeah. that that means every woman man woman and child in qatar if you calculate the gdp according, according to how much if the shared equally among the citizens each person alive yeah is earning 90 90,000 so if you have you you yeah 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 for anam yeah So 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 it am amara taki you 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 are almost looking at 200,000 earnings yes. per, per year so it's pretty impressive with the yeah. population of Tria and uh, the Adjal the Adjal very impressive that's why Qatar is considered one of the wealthiest nations on earth right now actually where ana ana mutake there is no poor Qatari looking at it unless there is one that has decided just to be poor but the government really support their their, their own people very mm-hmm. their, their, their their system of heavily funded by by the oil oil money yeah those guys those kings and emir they actually share the resources <laughs> yeah. yeah but 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 the most interesting thing is like um th- this this decline of the south sudanese gdp from about 1070 to 425 right uh 1070 about 10 years ago 425 this year Yeah. and and really the economic decline in terms of gdp you can see it affecting yeah. people everybody can feel yeah. the pinch yeah right so yeah. The, the, these numbers are credible and uh, so the americans are giving the qataris free waiver for visas to get into the us of course it can do not be apply you have to go through the whole process because yeah. you know dunia de mata nas al masakin so we should really <laughs> re- <laughs> we should really work hard to make sure we yeah. we, we become yeah. rich you know yeah so that brings us to the end of this episode of course i take this chance to thank you for watching and for keeping it with us we look forward to seeing you again next uh sunday at 8 p.m of course don't forget to comment share subscribe and ding the bell uh, and follow our youtube channel which is yazol tv and follow us on youtube uh, follow us on facebook on instagram and on tiktok same yazol tv so you'll find the links to each of the social media handles in the description of this video And so tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you again Bakumba, thank you Michael and may God bless South Sudan. Azul